Hey, we're dipping Hey, yes, here. welcome back to Open Up. <laughs> we, uh, as promised, we are opening up this, uh, these uh, pies, uh, pies, uh, uh, cobblers. <laughs> Teresa. And this Thank is you, Teresa. Teresa. <laughs> Thank you, Teresa. Um, okay, so Barbara, talk to us about um, the difference between this cobbler and the cobblers we see uh, in restaurants and other places. See, traditionally, um, people, they're afraid to mix things, and I, I, I wasn't afraid to mix and match, you know, okay. and try to blend. Um, I don't like dough. I don't like uh, dumplings. I don't like um, anything doughy. I don't like. Okay. So I decided to try to come up with something Thank that had know. more of a crunch. Oh, you know, because people like love crunches. crunch. Yeah, I, li I like a crunch. I find a lot of people like crunches. Uh -huh. And so that takes you away from the traditional taste and the old fashioned strip dough. Right. And I don't like rolling dough and stripping it and whatever either. Oh, okay. And I just don't like, unless I bake it first, and that's too much work. You have to, you know, kind of. I, I was looking for a way to do it where it would be easy, so if I ever were to market it, people don't like to work hard. Mm -hmm. They like to work smart. <laughs> so anyways, um, <laughs> it, you know, eventually um, I'm hoping that someone will say, you know, this is fairly easy to make, you know, once I can get them on a disclosure agreement, you don't give it out. But if I get some attention and someone wants to take it over, um, I'm going to train them how to do it, and they're going to be so happy. How, how, how uh, difficult would it be to mass produce these? Well, see, this is the thing here. I once look at, looked at mass production uh, for Vons and Safeway. Uh -huh, you know? Right. But see, now I went a different direction because you, you learned yeah, as you go. I was a new uh -huh. kid on the block, and so um, at Vons was going to put it on the shelf, and so if it doesn't sell, they toss it, you lose money. So I decided to, uh, why don't you go for marketing it with a restaurant, someone that could offer it fresh daily, you know, uh -huh, could, uh -huh. could bake them or just as the need is. They know how much they put out. So they could maybe make, a, make them as they need them. And that way you don't have to put all that gunk in them, you know. Because mm -hmm. people, this is not the healthiest cobbler because I'm not into the no, please, sweet and low, sweet and low and thing. But so this see, is real sugar. This is you're real get, sugar. You're getting yeah, the real really. thing, high yes. octane. But, people, but see, here, here's another thing, too. How often do you hear people say people need to have self-control? So I tell people they have diabetes, you don't have to eat the whole pie. Eat a little bit. Yeah. You know? So that's that's what the French do. A couple of bites and they're done. Yeah. <laughs> it's delicious. And what I find, though, that it's not, to me, it's not too sweet. You know, what? You, I, it wasn't me being smart about it. When I first started um, working the, the streets, I mean, I actually literally went, uh, on the street and it had people in businesses tasting it. Oh. They'd be like, oh, this is too tart. Oh, this is too sweet. Well, instead of me getting offended, then I took that uh, as a constructive criticism and use it to my advantage and I kept balanced out. I'd go back and say, now, how, do, how does this taste? Can you see a difference? Mm -hmm. So eventually, when I got 95% of people, you're not going to get 100%. Mm -hmm. right. So 95% of the people, then hey, I, I was okay. Mm -hmm. And I just left it at that, and everybody said, this is perfectly balanced and everything. So you let people tell you when you're trying to market right. things. Right, yeah. Um, it, to me, it fits in with my healthy diet. I don't, um, I don't taste too much sugar, right. and which I would try to avoid. Mm. But it's a <laughs> Oh, that boy's <laughs> great. <laughs> uh, you know what? Uh, can I tell you? Wow. Uh, yes. Kathy Butler, because she was trying so hard to keep this thing in Bakersfield. And she went to the downtown, of course, you know, the restaurants to, to take advantage. And so mm. she arranged me to have a room <laughs> down there. And she, she had me, to, uh, you know, to um, offer it to different people d for downtown. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, Har uh, 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 Mayor Harvey Hall, <laughs> our city of Bakersfield mayor, yeah. mm -hmm. he didn't know I did the flavors. He, he, he was hooked on the vanilla. He liked that one. <laughs> oh, really? He was just like uh, Mr. Clark. He, when he tasted boysenberry, he was like, oh, he fell in love with the boysenberry. Oh, did he? And, yeah. I'm a berry person too. I, I have the boys wow. and berry. Wow! Hallelujah! <laughs> that is just. <laughs> well, well jo jo Josie Martin over uh, at uh, Double Tree. We've uh -huh. been knowing each other for like up uh, 25 years. Mm -hmm. She didn't know about the flavors either, mm -hmm. and so she fell in love with the boys and berry too. So. For berry lovers, I mean, it's great, but you can't really count on people that don't like berries. So I always introduce right. the vanilla first. Yes, of course. Yes. Um, Boy, I tell you, put ice cream on that boys and berry. <laughs> your work on earth is done. You know, just <laughs> bring me home. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Duh, that is so cute. Um, I like the crunch, too. People like the crunch. And when I found that out, now, believe it or not, you know. What is that crunch? It's, it's just a mixture of things, and it's the way you bake it and the way you put it together. Okay. Uh -huh. And that, that's kind of the secret to it. 
Mm -hmm. But you know the thing is, um, some people like it uh, baked harder. Mm -hmm. I have a nephew who want three layers of that, and I was like, how could you bite into it? He don't care. It, like you need a hammer to mm. beat it, you know. <laughs> but the more the merrier for him. So I try to do it according to people's need. But if it goes into a restaurant, then uh, you know, hopefully. I'm hoping to get Hilton mm -hmm. or somebody double tree. You know, they can do it at um, the same where it is now. Okay. And and, and be okay. Mm. Well, Barbara, let's just put it out there. Maybe there's someone out there that's been looking for an entrepreneurial opportunity, and here's one sitting right here. Mm -hmm. So just put it out there. What 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 would be the ideal that you're looking for for someone to step in and and say, here I am. What what do you need? The, the resources to do it, I would hand it, put it into their hands and then let them run with it. They get their own marketing people, find a way that they want to market it. They can t uh, lend and borrow from what I've done already because I have a track record. So there's um, a lot of history behind this thing that is, if it's not broke, you know, don't fix it because already I've, I've kind of, you know, shown people the way that I've done and so far so good. Mm -hmm. But that don't mean that they have to stick to it because once it's theirs then they have to do their own thing with it. But I would want them to take it, even build a factory if they wanted to or just, you know, them. Uh, if I license it out to them mm -hmm. and they take it, they can basically just say, I'm going to build a factory and give people some jobs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This uh, Cobbler factory down in Pasadena, they had every cobbler except for pineapple. I called them uh, when I first started and said, what kind of pineapple, I mean, what kind of cobbles do you make? They named everyone except for a pineapple cobbler, and I knew I was on. I said, I have something <laughs> unique. So Jeff Johnson um, recommended I get a trademark because I'm the only one making a pineapple cobbler in California. Uh, until recently, people is beginning to catch on now. And some of your cooking shows, I see people now p playing around with it. But once upon a time, people didn't even, had never heard of a pineapple cobbler. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it took me so long to get where I am. I said, somebody's bound to steal it or going to take it away from me because I'm taking so long to get it down on the market. I mean, mm -hmm. So could an existing, like a Smith's Bakery, actually begin to put these out? That, that, would, would, that would be the easiest thing for them to do? It would be easy for them to do, but, you know, basically, the, like I said, restaurant, the reason why I say that, because a lot of stuff like Smith Bakery, um, I went to them before. You know, well, okay. the people work there. They don't like to go outside sometimes mm -hmm. to take on things to add. The restaurants like Doubletree would be ideal for Doubletree because they don't have a, a dessert. They have a cookie. Oh yeah. I don't they may by now I don't know but you know Well how about a Sizzler a hometown buffet? I mean they have cobbler right there uh, that they're serving all the time. You know what if corporate was um you know agree cuz every I kept running into every uh, chef can make a decision for that individual place mm -hmm. but you have to go on through corporate to get all of them. Oh yeah. Okay. So I kept running ag up against that too. So um after the cobbler you know when someone takes this on uh what uh, what is next for Barbara Kimbers? Well, I have a new career, and so I'm hoping to work with our children because we're actually losing them to texting, and they mm -hmm. don't know how to spell anymore. You say, how do you spell you? They say you. Mm -hmm. And so um, I'm with a company now that we're going to be uh, helping our kids to, to continue to learn and read and stay reading. So that, that's more fulfilling for me. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Yes, but I don't want to see this die because this is my baby. Now, I understand there's a song or something, uh, what, what is it called, a, a commercial song that went with this? Yes. Talk Can you sing it for us? us oh, no, it. I did. <laughs> yes, and, and my throat is going oh, out. Oh, no. We've got something for your throat oh, here. Oh, my goodness. Yes. But it, it goes like, roll up your sleeve, let down your hair. We know you're hungry, so just grab a chair. Sit down and enjoy this fruity treat. One bite will make your mouth all so sweet. We're going to have some. That's when Karen burst cobblers. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> That's okay, because my throat is messing up. Oh, no. no, no. no. Excellent. So um, we're looking for someone who would like to... T who would like to take this on and uh, make it even greater. Right now, she's just uh, making samples for people like myself to taste and eat and so on. But um, if there's a business or a person who's got an idea or a thought or something for Barbara, please contact her. We will have her information on the, on the uh, screen in a few moments. But is there anything else you'd like to talk to us about before we have to close our... Well, something I'd like to know is yes. we try to be a resource to small businesses and help mm -hmm. them succeed. What, 
what are the most important lessons that you could put out briefly to tell mm -hmm. anyone who's thinking about starting oh, yes. any kind of business? Yours is cobbler. There, theirs might be something else. Just stay focused. That's the main thing. <clears throat> See, because people have tried to take me away from this line that I've been developing, and uh, just don't let that happen. Just stay focused on your idea. And um, I, I just know that if I hadn't stayed focused, I wouldn't be sitting here right now talking about you know this mm -hmm. um, f to get someone to take it over because it would be no cobbler because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I would have quit. Especially, and then another thing too, if you have personal problems, don't let those things get in your way because if you can't manage your personal life, you cannot r manage your business anyways. Mm -hmm. So I feel very strong about that. Mm -hmm. And I have a friend that lives in Memphis, Tennessee. Her name is Vicki McKenzie. She's a retired school teacher. She says, Barbara, it might not be about the cobbler. It might be about your story. So she's, she mm -hmm. wanted to write it, but she mm -hmm. wrote uh, children books, you know, lean towards that. Mm -hmm. She's trying. She couldn't do it, so she says, Barbara, somebody needs to write your story. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm going to look at some other possibilities because I have had a lot of struggles that could help people. Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. And we'd like to hear about those next time we'll have you on and talk about... Um, what uh, what you can say to, to encourage others okay and to contact Barbara Kimber Kimber's cobblers and that would be Kimber's cobblers at yahoo.com or uh, go to YouTube and uh, view the Kimber's cobblers uh, video and uh, find out more in that way you know uh, we just want to tell you you can catch our show mm -hmm. usually about a day after uh, on uh, Facebook.com forward slash open up with Don and Tina. Yes. And it's all, all our shows are archived there, so uh, there's yes. a lot of resources there. Yes, so thank you for joining us today, and uh, we look forward to next time. You bet, you bet. And Tell stay strong, everybody, and stay cool. Yes. All the best.